But I've told you to stop cooking. I don't want you to keep cooking in this condition. Leave the cooking for me to do. But I can cook. No. Besides, you've been at work all day. I figured you'd be hungry, so I thought to cook so you have food to eat when you're back. Hungry? Yes. Okay. But I'm not complaining. I can really cook it myself, okay? Do not worry. I can cook. Don't worry. I'll do the cooking myself. Oh, but I'm well rested now. I say don't worry. I'll do the cooking myself. this money for your shopping and you're here talking nonsense what's this sudden attitude of yours mom it's close to a year we have not seen our brother and you're not doing anything about it oh you want us to collect this money for our shop it is collecting this money will make us happy <laughs> if you want us to be happy we need our brother back not this money excuse me Is it? Hmm? What's wrong? What's wrong? Mm. The baby? The baby's coming. Okay, okay, you you hang on, eh? Don't 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 stress yourself. Just hang on. Let me get your things. Nande, hmm? come and sit down and rest a little bit. She will soon You have been saying this since. Let them come out now. Nande, she's giving birth to a human being, not an animal. This thing takes little time. <laughs> Doctor, congratulations, sir. Your wife just put to bed a bouncing baby boy. For real? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, doctor. Thank you. Uh, how is my baby? Uh, and my wife? Good. Uh, okay, can I see them now? Let's go. <laughs> this little help you render me by helping me get works and jobs and all of that I don't take it for granted thank you no problem, no problem. Uh, you did a very great job uh, if you you're not with me eh, I won't have finished the job alone thank you for thank even, you so much thank you you're yes. welcome for asking Absolutely. me to come and join you is a good thing um, can I have the money now I'm, I'm almost home money I don't have money. I don't, there's no, I don't have money here now. 
Um, can you follow me to my house? So that I will give you. I think I have 1,000 naira at home. I'll give it to you. I thought you said the woman has paid you for the job. Why didn't you come out with the money now? Please, please. My house is just here. Now you want me to follow you all the way to your house. You know how far that distance is. When I have a problem, forget. Just follow me to my house. Hey. Yeah? I'll give it to you. My house is not far. Kolo, this son is not funny. This is just not funny. You know I have uh, a newborn baby in the house. My wife just put to bed. I need this money. Now you want me to go all the way to your house. I know. I know. Just please. Follow me to my house. Let's go. So that was how I found my way. I saw it from one another. Would you want your daughter? Would you want your daughter? Would you want my daughter? Hey! Let's go, let's go. Uh, mama? Eh? You know, you did not lock your door. And you know you need mama. to get some things. Come, come and sit down. Come. come. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay. I'm at you soon. I'm at you soon. How are you? Thank you. I brought you some firewood. I'm still using the ones you brought last week. I don't think I need firewood now. No, you will need it too. <laughs> on our work, you can keep it in the kitchen or anywhere. You will still have need for it. Eh? Instead of you having to look for firewood now and then, just give me any amount of money you have. You know I have a newborn baby at home and I have a wife to take care of too. I know, I know. And I can see you're working so hard to make sure they don't lack. Yes. <sighs> I'm coming. Thank you. He's a bit mad. She never disappoints. But I have you, honey. That's alright for me. That's alright for me. I would rather be by myself than be with someone else. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you. In case you need any other thing, not just uh, firewood. If you need me to carry anything or to work on your farm or anything, just let me know. Thank you. Thank you. Take care of them all. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.
Who lives there? Oh, Namd and his wife. Namd? Yes, sir. They have been living there since. I hope there's no problem, sir. No problem. Are you sure? Okay. Excuse me. Yes, sir. No. Okay. To see the king. You want to see the king? What for? You don't know me again. It's Obuago, the famous hunter. So, what are you doing in the palace? I want to see the king. Why? This kind of question now. Nah? Just tell the king Obuago wants to see him. He knows me. But you can't see the king with all these things you are carrying. You have to give me so I will drop it. Okay. When you are coming back, you still take Smart it. Smart no problem. Keep it to Are you sure of what you are saying? Yes, Your Highness. I saw him with my two eyes. From what I confirmed from the villagers, he is now a farmer. My son, a farmer? Yes. Guards! Your Highness. Please go and get me a room and the other members of my cabinet. Quickly! Yes, Your Highness. Wago. Your Highness. Thank you very much for this information. I will compensate you at the appropriate time. Thank you, Your Highness. You may leave. Thank you.
What are you doing here? Calm down. Please, calm down, my son. Please, calm down. Calm down. We've been looking for you. Yes. We've been looking for you. We've come to take you home. Calm down. You are the crown prince of Umachi Kingdom. This place does not befit you. We have come to take you home. Yes, sir. Calm down. Let's go home. Is that my grandchild? Prince Ifatu. Ngozi. Yes? My God. What are you doing here? Fujungwa is my daughter. And I came to nurse her baby. I see. And Prince Namdi is my son. Lost what farm. I came to take him home. Prince Namdi is your son? Yes. No! No! I'm not an outcast. And my daughter is not an outcast. I am from Umogene Kingdom. I ran away from the palace when I overheard the queen discussing with the doctor on the best way to terminate my pregnancy. I'm sorry, my queen, for keeping you away. That's all right. I'm so sorry. It's, okay. um, it's positive. How do you mean positive? The result of the pregnancy test carried on her says she's two months pregnant. Two months pregnant? Yes, my queen. And, uh, can you come down by yourself? What? I 
esse preservado. Who? What did you say? My son? Yes, my queen. <laughs> Make sure that I give this job to the woman in the table. And that she doesn't like taking jobs. Make sure she finishes. Yeah. Nurse, excuse us. I want this pregnancy terminated. What? For well, my queen. Name your prize. Excuse me. Are you looking for something? Um. Because if you want to see the doctor, you have to wait for your turn, which is at the reception. Okay. Don't you think that the consent of the girl is needed? <laughs> A lot of power. The commoners have no say when royalty speaks. So, get to work. Mind you, I will not leave here until the work is done.
is a palace maid that you choose to impregnate. Have you forgotten that you're a prince? A royal blood? Don't you know that a royal blood and that of a commoner have nothing to do together? I am so ashamed of you. I'm sorry, mother. It was just a mistake. A mistake? A mistake indeed. You are a prince. And one day you're going to ascend the throne of Umachi Kingdom. I want you to know that kings don't make mistakes. What are you going to tell your wife, the future queen of this kingdom, that you impregnated a commoner? Oh, I am so ashamed of you. Ngozi! Ngozi! I have not seen her since yesterday. Since yesterday? Yes, my queen. Get out. Guards! Guards! Yes, Your Majesty. I want you to go and fetch Ngozi for me. Right here. Now! Yes, Your Majesty, I will do that. I ran to Umoka Kingdom for safety. When the guards were searching for me everywhere. My king. Yes. I didn't want to abort your child. I gave birth to her, and I called her Ujumwa. She is your daughter. So we have been co committing incest? Abomination! Aru! They should be taken to the shrine for cleansing. Chief Maduka, nobody is taking anybody to any shrine for any cleansing. Excuse me, please. Can you help me with your child? But, but, please, excuse me. Thank you. We, 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 I want to myself. Thank you. Thank you. But, but thank you. Oh, don't, don't take long, okay? Hurry up. Oh, so cute. Mm. Wow. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I can do it. Yeah. Let's shop together, okay? Do you want this? Should I take this? No. Mm. Hello, good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, my dear. Please tell the lady in the restroom to please hurry up, okay? She gave me the baby to hold and uh, take care of while she uses the restroom. Tell her that we are in a hurry and we want to leave, okay? That we are done shopping. Sure, okay, ma'am. Alright. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> This baby, check in there, check properly. She must be there, madam. No one is in the restroom, she's not there. Oh. Uh, anyway, we, we, are, we are in a hurry. Um, I will leave the baby with you when the mother comes. She can take it from you. And no, I can't take care of the baby that I need to go there. Moreover, my boss will sack me if he sees me taking care of a child instead of doing my job. See, but, but my, my Madam, dear. I suggest you wait for her outside. See, Thank you. you. See, see, we, we, my, my dear, my, my dear. We, we, uh, honey, 
I'm be serious. <laughs> okay, look at the baby's eyes. Cute. Your eyes. Cute. Cute plus cute. <laughs> <laughs> A bit, um, a little milk. That will do. <laughs> Looking at this boy, he's very hungry, so he needs such solid food. Solid. Exactly. <laughs> he's leaving me. I know what to do. Mm. Oh, my kitty, 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 kitty. Oh, see, he's such a happy baby. Sure. A very cute and happy baby. I just wonder why the mother abandoned him. I don't understand. <laughs> I suppose spare pressure. Yes. Hmm. And he's very much comfortable here. Yeah, he is. Maybe he likes it here. It's well, honey. Yeah. Try get him something to eat. Yeah. Very okay. much possible. 
Can you see? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See what happened to me? See here? Mm. Yeah. Don't cry. Don't cry, okay? I want to believe you're a cause, right? Oh, yeah, I do. Good afternoon, sir. The mother of the baby, has she come back looking for her child? No, and I don't think she will. How do you mean? <sighs> Madam, this is what most young ladies do. They give away their child once they notice they can't take care of the child. This is one of their strategies. I suggest you report this to the nearest police station. Yeah. Yes. How can a mother leave her child in the hands of a total stranger? I don't, I don't understand it. I... Madam, this lady lost her child. Only God knows why she chose to dash to this baby. Most young ladies would rather kill the baby. Thank you. Thank you for the advice. It's okay. Honey? Yes, sir. I know what to do. Let's go. My friend, this is what most of the young girls do. When they give birth to a baby and they find that they cannot take care of the baby, they will just abandon the baby anywhere, anyhow. So it takes only that the good ones to make sure they keep their own baby to the doorstep of one big man or the other. Officer, it's too early. It's too early to start taking care of another person's child. We will not start having our own babies. If you ask me, I will tell you to officially adopt the child. Because as we all know, children are the best gift one can ever get from God. I'm only advising you as a Christian and also as a father. But if you think otherwise, we can still take the baby to the motherless baby home. Excuse me. Dictative Nelly, report. Let's go back to sleep, please. No, no, no. No. Honey, ever since we left that child at the motherless baby's home, I've not been myself. Please. Let's go and get him. And and give him a great future. Mm. I can't survive another night without him. I I I, I can't. I do understand. I miss him too. Yes, I do. I miss the feeling of, of being a father. That was the first time I, I ever felt like a father. The words of the DPO keeps ringing bell in my heart. That the gift of a child is the best gift any human can ever receive. Either from God or man. But well, let me ask you. If we bring in Namde back to this house, what will happen to him when we start having our own children?
Thank you so much. Thank you for bringing back my happiness. <laughs> Thank you for agreeing to go get my baby. Thank you so much. Anything for you, my love. Anything. Oh, my baby, leave your back. <laughs> Honey, what shall we call him? <laughs> what do you think? Mm. Melvin. Melvin. Yes. No, no, no. I'm an Igbo man and the crown prince of Umachi Kingdom. I suggest we name him after my father. Namd. Me, my father is alive. Wow. That's a wonderful name. Namd. 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 Namod. 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 So, mother, um, that's how we came to have the baby. As I'm talking to you now, the boy is in my house with my wife. Kimi! You mean you brought that child into your house? Why would you do that? What if something happens to that child in your house? Or maybe the real parents of the child come in to look for the baby and accuse you of stealing their child? Eh? Yes, um, that, that is true. Um, mother. Are you I, mad? No, what I'm saying is that we've reported this to the police and uh, we've done everything possible. That's not enough! So, what do you advise we do? Well, you're mature enough to take your decisions. But if you ask for my own opinion, I will suggest you take the baby back to the motherless baby home. If you want to see him, then you go and see him there. And not bringing him back to your house. No. Okay, I've had you, ma. We'll see what to do about it. You see, Namdi here is not my biological son. I took him 
I loved him the way I love my children. Ebuka is my first biological son. Ujuma happens to be my first biological daughter, followed by Princess Ifoma. So these are my three biological children. Have you not seen that there's no need for you to take anybody to any shrine for any cleansing? Have you seen it? It all started from the ancestors. The seven sons of Agba started maltreating Oka, the youngest, after the death of their parents. They took all his lands, and the eldest wanted to take his wife he loved so much. That made him to run to the shrine of Ukwaj for protection, and he reached an agreement the shrine of Ukwazu, that if he should protect him, him and his entire generation will serve him. The brothers stayed away from him and said he belonged to the shrine of Ukwazu, and the rest of the communities started avoiding him and called him an Osu, an outcast. Hmm. My elders. Igwe. Igwe. We have had him. Yes, yes. But let me ask one question. Is it an offense for somebody who feels threatened to run to an individual or a community or an organization for protection? Is it is it wrong? It's no, not yes. no, no, no. I, I don't think it's, it's not wrong. Fine, it's not wrong. God. Since it is not an offense, I don't think there's any need for this also system to exist, especially in this our community. So I hereby decree and declare that in Umachi Kingdom, henceforth, nobody should address any other person in this community as Osu. That is outcast. Are we in agreement? Yes. yes. Are we in agreement? Yes. 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 The Osu caste system stands abolished in Umachi Kendal. Yes. Igwe. Oh no. Igwe. You will detail the town crier to go around and pass this information that everybody, man, woman, old, young, should gather at the market square on a K day so that we harmonize this and inform every other person. Igwe. Igwe. Igwe, consider it done. Thank you very much. Um, as a more, we well, thank you very much. Well, thank Igwe. You. Eh? That's another reason. And maybe to be here. This throne has been dwelling on falsehood. Falsehood in the sense that you presented a wrong crown prince. The God said, I should tell you, that no matter what has happened, the land has to be at peace to avoid calamities. Igwe, that is a message from the gods. More incident should occur so that secret will be revealed in this community. Mazokura, there you are. Who would have known that Prince Nand is not the heir apparent? And we would have made the mistake of our lifetime by canning him the king when the father is no more. Ichie, if you ask me, Prince Buka should go and look for his own outcast. So there will be more secret in the view in this community. There you are. I suspect that the king has made secrets packed with him. He has not revealed all of them. <laughs> Get to the mechanic workshop. Make sure you are there when the mechanic will be fixing the brake pad. 
Did you get it? Yes, Your Highness. Don't just go and start drinking, oh, and make sure you come back on time. Okay. Thank you, my king. Two months, a whole two months. Well, 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 there's no point kneeling down there crying, begging, asking me for forgiveness. No, you have served this palace very well, but the fact remains that you can't continue to serve the palace in this condition. You have to go to your husband's house and live with him. I, I, I can help in any way, any way at all. I can, I can help your husband even pay your dowry if he's not up to do that. I can do it for you. You can't serve us like this. She is in her husband's house. And her husband is rich enough to pay her bride price. Dad? Mom? I am responsible for her pregnancy. And with your permission, I would love to meet Bogi here. My wife. Daddy, please. I love Ogi so much. I know she's a nobody. But with your name, we can make this nobody a somebody. Please, Dad. Mom? Thank you very much. I hear you. Oh no. Igwe. My elders. Igwe. I greet you all. We greet you all too. My Lolo and members of my royal family. I greet you too. Thank you. Because you are the first. <laughs> yes, we have had a very great occasion outside where my son, the crown prince of Umachi Kingdom, Ebuka, took a wife. We may have given him blessings there, but this is in-house. Therefore, Ebuka, please, can you, with your wife, step forward? Mm 
やだアイハブアトリティフォーマイエルダスアルシオドアトリティフォーマイフォーファーダス because as the king and the custodian of tradition and culture of Umachi kingdom I have the right to bless you a king will be obedient to you all you are for all will be obedient to you and this football game that you have scored a goal the result shall be twins <laughs> Ibuka, there is one important thing. Your father is a great man, a great king. When I must have joined my ancestors, you would sit on this throne. This family must remain one. Your brother, Nand, must be regarded at all times as your blood brother. Do you promise that? I promise that, Dad. Good. You'll be greater than your father. My ancestors will guide you in everything you do. And it shall be well. Oh, no. Igwe. Am I in order? You are in order, Igwe. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It shall be well. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dad. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mom. You can go back to that. All right. Um, we 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 still have a lot of things to eat and drink. So relax. Hang on now, go now, go now, yeah. Igwe is alive. Some.